one teacher which gives you assignments which you have to input text in and he or she sends it in PDF format. Yes, guys, I know the struggle very well. That is why today I'm going to be showing you guys the software that I use for that. Hey guys, it's Angel and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing something a little bit different here on my channel because today I'm going to be doing a tutorial slash review of a software which I use a lot, especially with online class and classes in general. So the software that I'm going to be talking about is PDF Element by Wondershare and I'm super happy and thankful to say that this video is sponsored by them. So PDF Element offers the easiest way to create, edit, convert, and sign a PDF file on Windows and on Mac. And know that I won't be sharing this with you guys kung di ko siya personally ginagamit. I use this a lot as a student and it's become very helpful to me especially with online classes. And I just want to share this with you guys since I know that most of you guys are also students and I think this software will be very helpful for both of us. So yeah. When I first used this software, I noticed that it's very intuitive and easy to use compared to other um, PDF editing um, softwares. And it's not as techy and as complicated as the other ones that I've used before. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use this app. So I'm gonna zoom you guys out and I'm gonna show you guys my laptop screen and all that. So let's go. So I actually made a sample PDF file for this video because I can't share with you guys my personal documents. So just imagine your teacher for research sent you a PDF file to guide you with your paper. So I'm an ABM student, that's why I'm papakita ko sa inyo yung business proposal type of file siya. So yeah, to all ABM students out there, I think you can relate. Ito super similar. I just made my own sample PDF file. So please bear with me. Alright, so I'm gonna be opening my Wondershare PDF element now and I'm just gonna be dragging this document, the research sample that I made and it automatically opens in the software. So the first feature that I'm gonna be showing you guys will be just simply editing or converting a PDF file. Okay, so automatically you're going to see the tab here in the left side and other features here on the right side. So, you have here the markup which has the um, text comment, text box, um, signature features, and all that stuff. And then for the text, you can edit the PDF automatically. Ayan, edit mo na siya, tanggal it. Okay, let's say our business is called I Care. Kanina ko lang naisip to guys, ha? kasi sabi ko I Care, um, maybe we sell sunglasses or glasses, ayan. So let's say we're eye care, you can change the font. Let's see, Ariel Black. Yeah, lang, ganyan na lang. <laughs> uh, let's put it in yellow. Ayan, see? And then let's say name. I'm Angel Siciliano. And then let's say I'm in grade 12 ABM. And you can edit the font size. And here you need to insert a photo so you can delete this part and yeah, you stretch out And you can go ahead to the image tab and then just click add image. I have here a photo from the internet and you can just put it like this and like that. So you can go ahead and edit the text again. Just tap the text bar and what is your product? Optical glasses. So you can also put stickers on, thumbnails, comments, and all of that. So brandali lang yung gamitan, guys. I swear. And for example, maga highlight ka ng something. You can use this. Ayan, highlight ko na siya. So the next feature that I'm gonna be showing you guys will be the built-in OCR feature of Wondershare PDF Element. And OCR is Optical Character Recognition. It accurately turns scanned documents into searchable and editable text, allowing you to repurpose the content without retyping. So, this one is very useful for lazy students like me. Okay, so I have here a screenshot of my answer at ato sa isang activity namin sa CL. But I'm gonna be opening that using PDF Element. So here you go, you have the screenshot here, and you will go ahead and check out the toolbar in the side, and 
just select OCR text recognition. Ayan. And click English and then perform OCR. We're just gonna have to wait for a few seconds for it to process and yeah. And then you can automatically grab the text, copy it. Um, let's insert a text box. And then you can just paste the text there, which is so easy. So yeah, that's the built-in OCR feature of PDF Element. And now, if you're gonna ask me um, how I use the digital signature part of the PDF Element, like this one, ito, ayan, nakikita nyo yan. Let me show you guys how I do it. Okay, so let's say that we're gonna be transforming this into a ambassador's contract. And let's say na nabasa na niya yung contract itself and you need to input the signature here. You're gonna go ahead to mark up and then, and for example, this one, I already have my quote-unquote signature. This is not my real signature. Ayan. For example, yan na lang yung signature natin. And then for validation, go ahead to form and you will see the digital signature feature right there. Just tap it and put it right here. And then... Put the name, let's say, Angel Siciliano. Yeah, you can edit it with whatever you like. You're gonna tap Preview and then tap it. And, and just modify it with whatever you like. Press Sign and then just save it. And then, ayan, validated na yung signature you guys. There you go, you have your digital signature. I can really say that it is the best Acrobat alternative in maximizing your document productivity. And if you guys want to try it out, you can actually get 60% off. Just click the link in the description box. All the tutorial links, free download links, and also discount links will be down below in the description box. So make sure that you guys check it out. Okay, so that concludes our little tutorial and me sharing with you guys PDF Element. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on my Instagram, Mr. Joseph Angel Siciliano. Thank you so much again to PDF Element for sponsoring today's video. Hopefully, this became a helpful video for you guys. And comment down below if you want more study tips, what's on my laptop, what's on my phone, what's on my iPad, and all of those things related to online classes because I really wanna share my thoughts and also what I do um, when it comes to my online classes. And yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.